So we've now cut all our pieces of wood to length. We've cut all the joints that we need. So we lay it out on a big table like this. We've got plenty of room to work and we start to assemble it. So you start at the ends, lay the pieces into place. Now you'll notice I haven't glued or screwed anything just yet. The first thing is to make sure we've got it square. And the easiest way to check whether something is square is to measure from corner to corner and corner to corner that way. And if the measurement is the same in both places, then you've got it square. So we've got So we do that one. And like that. So once you've adjusted it to get it square, then you're ready to start putting it together. So you weigh down the sides, and as luck would have it, we have some stage weights to side. Now the temptation when gluing, particularly with a powered screwdriver, is just to put the screw there, push, but it never goes very well, so I like to start the hole first with a bradle, and the screw is less likely to go shooting all over the place. The next stage is to glue the intermediate pieces of wood in. Sometimes you have to push hard on the joints because that means you cut them properly. You want it to be a nice snug fit. So that's all the pieces of wood glued in. The frame is now complete, as you can see. So we're now ready to start covering our flat and we're going to use scenic canvas to cover it. This is a piece of proper scenic canvas. We've cut it to size and it's a fireproof canvas. It's not any old canvas. So you have to make sure you buy it from someone who understands fireproofing. And this has come from backstageshop.co.uk. We're ready to put the frame on the canvas. We want to get it roughly in place, making sure we've got it right top and bottom and at the sides. So the canvas can come round. It's fine all the way there. So now we're ready to start nailing it into place. So you come down to one end, bend the end over. And that's your first nail in. Come over to this side and stretch it as tight as you can. So now we've come down to the other end and we want to pull it reasonably tight. Try and get rid of as many wrinkles as we can. And then come out to the sides. back to this side
So having done the ends, you now move to the sides. And again, we're going to put one roughly in the centre. And we do one at each end. You can use a staple gun to do this. If you like using staple guns, I don't like using staple guns. So I'm using an upholsterer's hammer. It has the advantage that it's magnetised, so it holds the nail on the end of the hammer, which makes it much faster to work one-handed. So having got it roughly in place, you now go around and put nails all the way around and then we'll come to the corners. Right, you fold in one side like that, like that, like that, and you're going to put your nail just there to hold it. And that's how to do a corner. So we've done all the corners, let's have a look. That's not bad, that's nice and tight, nice and flat. So that's ready for painting. The last process before we can use this as a flat is to put on a method so they can be laced together. And we do this using tie-off cleats. The ones we're using today are made by a company called Hall Stage. And again, you can get these from Backstage Shop. Screw them to the frame. On something this size, we're going to use four equally spaced and then you can use this to tie this flat to the next one. So as you can see we've got all the cleats in place, the canvas is nice and tight, that's ready for use. And that's how to make a theatre flat. <laughs>